der Staat und dieses Reich bestehen sollen, wie den kommenden Jahrtausenden. Wir können glücklich sein zu wissen, dass diese Zukunft restlos uns gehört. On April 30th, 1945, Hitler took his own life with a gunshot to the head. He wished to avoid the fate of his fallen comrade Benito Mussolini, who had been publicly executed, strung up by his heels, and thrown into a gutter the day prior. In accordance with Hitler's written and verbal instructions, his body was taken behind the Reich Chancellery, where it was doused with gasoline. As his corpse caught fire, Nazi Germany and World War II in Europe came to a swift end. With over 60 million dead, World War II was the most violent conflict the world has ever seen. Through the strength of the United States, Britain, and Russia, Hitler's dream of an Aryan-dominated Europe was totally extinguished. None of Hitler's dreams came to fruition. Except one. There was a dream Hitler visualized, handcrafted, funded with Nazi money, and even used Jewish slave labor from Nazi concentration camps to create. Hitler's Nazi dream that remains still alive till this very day is the VW Beetle. First, we need to head back to the year 1923. Gunshots erupt in Munich as Adolf Hitler, chairman of the brand new Nazi party, and other party members shoot it out with local police. His attempted government coup ends up in 16 of his party members dead and his imprisonment in Landsberg Castle in 1924. Later, Hitler described his spell in prison as a free education at the state's expense. As a young man, Hitler had taken a keen interest in the development of the motor car. One of his earliest heroes was Henry Ford. The Highland Park Ford plant became the first automobile production facility to implement the assembly line. Initially, it had taken 14 hours to assemble a Model T car. Ford reduced this to an hour and 33 minutes. This lowered the overall cost of each car and enabled Ford to undercut the price of other cars on the market. It was during this time that Hitler developed the idea that he wanted to be responsible for Germany's Model T. Hitler was also influenced by Henry Ford's political views. In 1920, Henry Ford published The International Jew. In the article, Ford claimed that there had been a Jewish conspiracy to take over the world. Ford argued, and I quote, the finances of the world are in the control of the Jews, and their decisions and devices are themselves our economic laws. Hitler would use Henry Ford's The International Jew as inspiration for his own autobiography, Min Kampf. After his release from prison, through the silencing, manipulation, and murder of thousands of political rivals, Hitler and his Nazis swiftly consolidated power in Germany. By 1934, he dissolved the office of the president and made himself both head of state and head of government. One of his first decisions was to order the construction of an immense 7,000-mile road network, the Reich Autobahn. Hitler characterized this great endeavor as an overture to peace. Its true purpose was to enable the rapid east-to-west movement of German troops to meet the demands of a two-front war to come very soon. By June 1935, 125,000 men were working vigorously to build Hitler's Nazi road network. Hitler also wished to fill these highways with German-built cars. At that time, there was only one motor car for every 50 German citizens, compared to one in five in America. Hitler announced his plan to motorize the nation and unveiled the People's Car, also known as Volkswagen. The man assigned to this task was Ferdinand Porsche. Born and educated in the Czech Republic, his innovations in wind resistance testing allowed him to develop the famous Mercedes SS and SSK. In April 1934, Porsche received a bid from Hitler to develop his new Volkswagen. Based off of his earlier work, the 1931 Type 12 Zudendop, a basic vehicle that could transport two adults and three children at 100 km per hour. The car would have a 1-liter displacement air-cooled motor, 25 brake horsepower, 4-wheel independent suspension, and only use 7 liters of fuel. Hitler monitored the Volkswagen's progress impatiently. Then, to his dismay, he found out that Porsche was a Czech citizen. Believing Czechs to be subhuman, Hitler urged Porsche to apply for German citizenship. A few days later, Porsche formally renounced his Czechoslovakian citizenship and was made a citizen of the Nazi Third Reich. 
By 1938, Hitler would annex Portia's home country of Czechoslovakia and commit numerous atrocities on its people. Porsche and his design team began building three successful prototypes, with the first two being completed in 1935. Tasked with building the Volkswagen, Porsche was praised as the great German engineer. In 1937, Porsche joined the Nazi party, as well as the notorious paramilitary organization, the SS. The SS would be responsible for the genocidal killing of an estimated 6 million Jews during World War II. In 1942, Porsche reached the rank of SS Uberführer, or Senior Leader. Porsche was also awarded with the War Merit Cross and was further decorated with the SS Irren Ring, or Death's Head Ring, a personal gift bestowed by Heinrich Himmler, the man directly responsible for the Holocaust. The relative success of the three VW prototypes was a minor achievement in comparison with the goal of mass producing by the millions. Hitler, vowing to outproduce Ford in the United States, became agitated over what he called the industry's procrastination. Hitler approached leading figures in private industry and demanded that they produce an automobile for around $396. This was comparable to cheaper cars in the United States. German industrialists claimed that this was impossible. With his threats falling on deaf ears, Hitler decreed that the Volkswagen would be produced by the state. On May 26, 1938, Hitler laid the cornerstone for a new city in Wolfsburg, where the Nazi-funded Volkswagen factory was built. The Volkswagen received 50 million marks in funding from the German labor front. A huge advertising campaign was launched to persuade workers to put aside part of their wages to save up for a Volkswagen. With the slogan, a car for everyone, this proved to be a great success with over 300,000 workers applying to buy a car. The first completed Volkswagen cars were exhibited at Munich and Vienna in October of 1938. Another one was presented to Adolf Hitler at the International Auto Show in Berlin. Hitler gave it to his mistress, Eva Braun, as a birthday present. The car became known as the Beetle from the round shape Hitler gave it in its original design. Volkswagen had only just started small-scale production before civilian production was halted because on September 1, 1939, Germany invaded Poland. Two days later, France and Britain declared war on Germany and war broke out in Europe. May 10, 1940, Hitler launches Blitzkrieg and invades France. Overwhelmed by the surprise attack, France surrenders a mere 46 days later. Hitler revels in his military victory by touring Paris. Throughout World War II, the Volkswagen factory, under the supervision of Porsche, produced war vehicles like the Kobelwagen and the amphibious Schwimmwagen. It also produced bomb parts and other Nazi weapons of war. During his tenure supervising the plant, Porsche discovered a vital flaw in wartime production, labor costs. To mitigate the issue, Porsche reached out to his fellow SS comrades to see how he could use Nazi concentration camp inmates instead. On April 8, 1942, Himmler granted his request and created a new concentration camp, Arbeitsdorf, with 800 inmates just for Porsche and his new Volkswagen factory. Unfortunately for the inmates, the Volkswagen plant had numerous accidents, causing the death of six inmates. Porsche washed the blood from his hands by officially listing the deaths as suicides. Ferdinand Porsche would use over 15,000 slaves during the war effort. Around the same time Porsche commissioned his personal concentration concentration camp, the fall of Hitler and Nazi Germany began. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The American people in their righteous might will win to absolute In response to America's declaration of war on the Empire of Japan, Hitler declared war on the US and followed up by backstabbing and invading his former ally, Russia. Hitler's failed invasion of the Soviet Union and the Allied invasion in Europe proved to be the end of the Third Reich. And when he took his own life in 1945, his vision of a Nazi-dominated Europe came to a swift end. On December 15, 1945, French authorities arrested Porsche for war crimes. Porsche spent 22 months in prison and died in 1951, leaving his business to his son, Fury. The younger Porsche gained fame for making cars like the iconic Porsche 911. 
In the summer of 1945, the British Army took control of the Volkswagen factory. In 1947, believing it not to be a profitable company, the Brits gave back Volkswagen to the Germans. It was suggested that they recruit Heinrich Norhoff, who had worked as a production manager during the Second World War. Norhoff was appointed as managing director in January of 1949. Over the next 20 years, Volkswagen would turn into one of the world's leading car manufacturers, and with the eventual worldwide production of over 25 million Beatles, Hitler's dream car, the People's Car, became one of the best-selling cars in the world. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle 2 and 3, and this is the truth about the VW Beatles' Nazi past.